How's it going everyone? Welcome to the ultra clean white studio look for this very special video where we answer the age old question of what is the best way to clean your device's screen. We've got three different methods that we're going to test out today and see what you should be using to get the best possible results of your dirty screen. Our three contenders here are the traditional microfiber cloth, a screen clean solution, and a wax polish. Let's check all of them out, see what the benefits of each of them are and which one you want to pick up for your next screen. First off, we got our microfiber cloth. There's a ton of different options, but I recommend one specifically made for devices. Toddy is one of my favorite brands and they're not sponsoring any of this, neither is any of these products. These are ones I personally use and like. Toddy cloths are a unique type of microfiber that are not really the ones you use to clean your windows these are really meant for device screens. They got a very soft texture of microfiber on the inside and on the outside is a polishing if you want to polish your screen. It works really well and these are some of the best ones that I use when it comes to getting rid of fingerprints. A lot of times microfibers just push the fingerprints away. These do a pretty good job of getting rid of them. You're obviously not going to see a lot right here but I will show you footage of what it looks like before and after. And if it's a light dirt on your screen, this does an amazing job of cleaning them. It's also great for things like screens on your Apple Watch. They do a great job of removing just a little amount of fingerprints and that sort of stuff. They got bigger ones like this one right here, which is really meant to get down there and scrub the entire screen and it can double as a phone stand, which is pretty cool. It's like a bean bag for your phone. I like that. But what if your screen is covered in gross stuff? My iPad Pro isn't a great example. My Apple Pencil, I use it all the time, but dragging my hand across the screen for half an hour straight gets it pretty gross and dirty. And that is where we need this, a screen cleaning solution. I use Woosh. We made a review on this a long time ago. And this is the same bottle from back when we made that review three or four years ago and I've used this much. So this comes with a microfiber cloth, very similar to the Toddy, although a little more coarse. So it's not gonna be as great to clean your screen unless you have a screen cleaning solution. What you do is you spray this onto your cloth and then it will be a little bit wet and it will help get some of that gunk off of your screen. Now the only issue with screen cleaning solutions is that some of them, the cheaper ones especially, can leave streaks and rainbow patterns all over your screen, which is not very good. They don't dry very well, but this one is actually pretty good. This one is called Screen Shine, and it does a pretty good job of that. The whole point and purpose of these is to get under the gunk and remove everything. I don't recommend using solely a screen cleaning solution. I feel they do work best with both a wet cloth and a dry cloth, the wet to get rid of all that gunk, and then the dry one, especially the toddy ones, to get rid of the grease and oil from this and wipe everything dry and clean. But it does a great job when something is extremely dirty. And now we've got our screen cleaning wax. This is from Phone Soap. Unfortunately, they no longer make this and I'll try my best to find some sort of equivalent that I can put in the description for you guys along with everything else here. But this is meant to not only clean your screen, but build a protective barrier on top to prevent further dirt, grime, and fingerprints from actually sticking. The whole point of this is not to clean your screen so much, but it's to build the layer so that you can take a cloth like this and wipe it off, wipe it away really easily. Most phones, especially Apple, have an oleophobic coating, which prevents the oils on your fingers from actually sticking to the screen and makes it very easy to wipe off with the cloth. This adds to that layer and helps build up that layer for you. Now you're not actually supposed to put it on a dirty screen, you're still supposed to clean it and let it dry. But what you do is you mark an X on your screen with the wax, you smear it around, let it sit, and then buff it to a shine. And you're just like you're waxing your car. You clean it, you wax it, and then now it's beautiful, it's shiny, and it helps prevent fingerprints. In my testing, I have to say that it works okay. It's a lot if you really want to be diligent about doing this all the time. It's a lot of work, but once you do build it up a nice little layer, it actually works pretty well and you only have to do it about once a week or so. 
it's actually not something you can feel. It's a very thin layer. It feels just like your normal glass. It works on screen protectors as well and is a great solution if you really get your phone dirty and you want to have it skip this step, you just want to use this. This is going to build a nice layer and help it wipe off really easily. It works really great. And those are the three ways you can clean your screen. You can just use a cloth, you can use your solution, and you can use this. I have to say, I don't use this very often. I use this most of the time whenever I really need to clean something. But if I wipe my phone down maybe once a week or so, I just use this. If it's an Apple Watch that's been sitting on my wrist for weeks on end, I might use this to get some of that gunk off or my iPad Pro. This works pretty good. I use this before installing screen protectors, any of that sort of stuff. But for day-to-day -day use to get rid of fingerprints, this is pretty good unless, you know, the fingerprints are pretty bad. So there you go. Overview of what to use to clean your screen. Thank you for watching as always. Links will be down below. If you like this video, leave a like and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. This is Mark with AdTech and I will see you in the next one.